Tennessee. This is a story that the Mendez brothers, which everybody is aware of, the story of that, how they murdered their parents, is kind of well known, documented, but nobody's really got this one on TV. This is just as bad. You know, back in 2016, around the Knoxville area, there was this guy named, and that actually was his name, Joel Guy Jr. And Joel Guy Jr. was more or less a professional college student. He'd been going to school, had several degrees for like nine years. And, you know, he, his parents were, you know, Joel Guy Sr. and Lisa was his mom. And I don't, we don't know really what happened or what triggered this, but <clears throat> back in November of 2016, he came back for Thanksgiving and something might have happened. Maybe they said, hey, you're going to have to go out and find a job. I don't know. They were paying for all this stuff. And he decided that he was just going to murder them. And, you know, this wasn't just any murder. You know, he went got all these materials from Walmart, buckets and chemicals and, and you know grossly cut them apart cut their body parts and tried to dissolve them in this chemical acid base that he created in these big tubs that he had in his house turned the heat up and tried to get it hot I mean stunk like crazy. The police, when they went in there, just said, I'll never forget that damn smell. I mean, it was so bad. And then he decided to just leave, take off, go back to, to Louisiana and <clears throat> where he was going to school down there. And someone had called from work or the people who knew Lisa because she was a very professional person who worked in HR services for an engineering company. Her husband was an engineer who worked for the engineering company. So they're very professional people who didn't show up for work. So they sent the police out there on a welf you know, welfare check. And, you know, they happened to get, see the garage was kind of halfway open. So they found a key to get the garage open in the car and they when they opened it and they could smell I mean it just it was terrible they could smell you know that stink and then when they went in the house they saw you know all this rotten food laying around that wasn't cooked it had been out and then they saw this big huge pot on the stove which actually was still cooking now it must have meant that he wasn't he didn't leave there probably soon. I mean, I would think that he was there not too long ago when they came in there. Otherwise, that pot would have been burned. And they went upstairs and they finally found the bathroom as they looked in there and it was like stinking really bad. These tubs and these tubs were full of all those body parts that were rotten and in that acid and stink and things of that nature. There also was a dog in there, I think they say. Then they opened up the pot that was cooking and it had his mom's head in there. How, how bad is that? I mean, this was just terribly grotesque. So they finally went back and figured this out. He even left a note and read out a laundry list of stuff that he had to pick up at Walmart. And they found that list and they found out, you know, he was probably guilty suspect and then they went to Louisiana and they arrested him, brought him back and I believe he was convicted around 20, 20 or something or a few years later convicted <clears throat> and to two life sins, I think like 300 years, something like that. But you know, it's the craziest thing ever. So I'm gonna try to go out here and find out. 
can't see it right there. Crazy. Very cool. 